So in this video, we're going to look at uh, on for question number five. For starting salary, do we have any outliers? So how can we find outliers? And in our lecture, we're talking about in order to find outliers, you need to convert in all your observation to the z-scores. And so basically, we standardize our data to z-score. And if any of the z-score is larger than three or smaller than negative three, we will consider it as outliers. So we are using this method to identify, do we have any outlier for our salary? Okay, let me go back to our data set. Okay, first of all, we have our column H is our salaries. So in order to getting our z-score, we need to calculate the mean and standard deviation of our starting salary in order to standardize our data. Okay, let me just start a new tab. And then why I need to start a new tab? Because I want to only need the data from the starting salaries. Okay. And then after I do that, I want to calculate the mean and standard deviation. Again, we consider it as sample. So what is the mean? We already learned in the previous lectures, you can use the formula called average. And then we are calculating the average starting salary. Okay. After you do that, push enter. The question is, how can we calculate standard deviation? So we are need a STDEV dot S. So of course you have another option called the P means population. STDEV is a standard deviation. And then it's another way to calculate standard deviation without using discrete statistic. So if you're only looking for one statistic, so you can use this formula and the S. And then you are selecting A226. Close the parentheses, push enter. Now this is your standard deviation. In order to get in the Z-score on our PowerPoint, so I will call this as a Z z-score. The formula we are using called a standardize. So once you start type standardize, the Excel already recognized your formula. You can double click this formula or you can spell the whole things. So basically to use this formula, you need first of all the value for x. So basically it's all your original observation. So it's already, uh, so first of all, we need to standardize 7,100 here. I need to just click to this one. So that's my x value comma and then the second is you're going to select the value of the mean you just calculated so we're going to use called the excel drop down function so basically we are using the excel to calculating the rest of the value uh, for us and then so what we can do is uh, uh we need to make sure as we drag it down so my x value will be keep updating once i move to the next cell so it should be 31,000. however my mean and the standard deviation should hold at the same spot so in order to lock those two cells not changing when we are using the Excel drag down function, we need to put a dollar sign in front of E, dollar sign in front of two. So first of all, you can just find the dollar sign on your keyboard and uh, put on it, one by one put on it. However, for some Excel keyboard, uh, so, sorry, for some uh, computer keyboard, uh, usually it's the PC version I know, the Windows. So you just need to find the F4 on your keyboard if you push the F4, you also automatically adding dollar sign on it. So if you cannot use the F4 on your keyboard, just, just use your hand, find dollar sign and adding to in front of E and adding to in front of two here. Okay, after that, click the mouse to behind the two and then put a comma and then select uh, the standard deviation. You just calculate it and we do the same thing. Put a dollar sign in front of E and put a dollar sign in front of three. Like for my keyboard, I actually need to push the function on my keyboard and then push F4. As you see, I only do that. The dollar sign already put on the E and the three. And I close the parentheses and I push enter. Okay, so that means if I converting my $7,100 to the Z score for this data set, I will get a negative 1.287. Okay, so now I do the same thing. Move my mouse to the right down corner and I drag it down to the last cell. Okay, you will notice that, let me choose the second one to show you. When you move on to the second cell, so the A2 used to be A2, not updating to A3 because we are calculating the Z-score for the second observation. 
But for my mean and the standard deviation, they are still at the same location. That's exactly what we are looking for, right? So that are my z-scores. So if you're staring at your z-score, do you see anything are larger than three or smaller than negative three? Okay, you don't see any, right? So the answer will be no, there is no outlier in this data set. Okay, so I know for this data set, we only have 25 observations. It's easy to eyeball in it. So is there any way that we actually not missing any, just in case we do have value larger than three or so on than that to three. So there is a way to do it. So you can do is a select both column. And then we are using the sort again. So we're going to here, go to sort and filter. We're using the filter function. And then we can sort data by their starting salary from the smallest to the largest. So we'll click this little arrow, choose the first one, smallest to the largest. So now you notice that uh, the smallest Z score is negative 1.2 and the largest Z score is 2.11. So we actually don't have any outlier in this data set.